What's up guys? Back again with another video. Um, today we're going to have ourselves a uh, Civivi Elementum. Uh, this will be my third one opening up, I guess. Uh, the first one I had was the silver one. The second one was the Damascus Carbon Fiber. This is actually another Damascus Carbon Fiber. Um, someone was kind enough to leave in the comments of my last Damascus one that um, they had about five or six of them and that they had a bad detent on theirs, I guess, on one of them. So it was, I guess it was luck of a draw. So I decided to order myself another one, hoping that I might have some better luck. And I, I did speak with um, Blade HQ, and um, I do have another one rolling out for uh, return, the carbon fiber one. So uh, let's see how this one compares to the other one. Uh, we have ourselves a little Channon knife here today. One of my buddies got me this. I'm just going to be opening up the box here. And let's hope that this guy is better. Um, this actually came in a different box. Um, the original one I got came in this box this is the one that i did not ship back yet but um it will be going back because uh i'm still waiting for the return label from them yeah um it arrived a little banged up through blade hq but let's see how this one this one goes <coughs> so okay so it does come in a white box i thought it was different for some reason i don't know hmm. so we have ourselves the elementum Right there, so VV Elementum Carbon Fiber Damascus, guys. So let's open this guy up. All right. All right. <clears throat> so let's hope this guy has a stronger detent because this other one I had, um, honestly, I was pretty disappointed. I only had it for a week. Luckily, I didn't put it in my pocket or anything, so it's still brand new. Yeah. Oh, this one came different too. Uh, so this comes with again, uh, two stickers, instruction manual, and a cloth. I think I have like five of these now. Comes with like all Wii knives or Civivi knives. And this one comes with a uh, a bag that says Wii knives and Civivi. Cool. For a second, I thought I got myself a. They put a Wii knife in here by accident. But yeah. Let's uh let's take a look, guys. <clears throat> so uh, actually. Before I start, this guy's kind of like a knockoff of like the real version, you know, kind of. It's kind of like the, uh, I forget what model it is. This is an Ultra Tech. It's probably like a knockoff of like your smaller one. I don't know. But yeah, uh, let's see. So, um, this is the Damascus Carbon Fiber Civivi Elementum. And let's see how it does. Okay, uh, detent still feels a little weak to me, but, um, I'm sorry, I'm like looking too close. It feels better than the other one, though. Um, I'm just using my finger very gently to pull down, and it's still opening all the way. So I guess the detent on this is a little lighter. This is brand new, you know, so it hasn't been oiled yet, I guess, or it could be on factory oil, but feels pretty good so far. If I do a very light... Okay, cool. Yeah, so uh, let me show you guys the other ones I have. Um, this is the uh, also an Elementum. This is just D2 uh, in the grayscale that I really liked. This one's like super snappy, you know? I could feel pressure against the detent when I'm pulling down. Any any type of pressure I apply to it, it's uh, super snappy. Let me see here. Super snappy. I don't know why. So when I originally got my other carbon fiber one, I still have it. I'm going to show you guys right here. <clears throat> this guy goes back soon. So um, this guy, you know, pulling down, it comes out. It doesn't feel as much like that one, but if I do it very lightly, see how it stops there, guys? It kind of bothered me. Um, luckily, uh, I'm sorry, I forgot your, your uh, screen name or your... YouTube name, but uh, if you guys look under my other element video, someone left me a comment saying they had like six of them and one of them had a bad detent, so that got that prompted me to go message Blade HQ. But yeah, this one's I'm doing light one, comes out again, though. Um, this part very, very uh, tight, it's like I gotta put a little pressure just to close it. That could be the reason, I don't know, because this is pretty light, you know, very easy to pull back. 
There you go. There's a good stuff you can get. I was pulling pretty hard on that one. So just every time I'm doing like a light light pull, comes out. You know, if I do the light pull, is this now it's not as snappy? I don't hear the sound opening. You know. Well, there goes just a regular pull. Here's like a hard, a fast one. Comes out. You know, sounds just like that guy. But yeah, carbon fiber on this guy um, looks great. Damascus. Compared both of these guys, since I have two of them next to each other. Looks good. The blade looks a little bit different, though. The tip, I mean, well, the patterns, I guess. But expected, you know? It's the Damascus. So, yeah, um, I'm happy this one has a stronger detent compared to this one. I'm glad this one's going back. And then I have some other carbon fiber knives to show you guys. But before that, uh, the reason why I kept that original Elementum, I don't know why I pointed out of camera, but originally when I kept that other Elementum was because uh, when I got this guy, this is the uh, Praxis. It's not as snappy. It comes out, but, you know, maybe it's because of the giant blade, but um, still snappy. It doesn't feel like the Elementum. This Praxis just, you know, it's a bigger blade. So... Yeah, let's... it comes out though. You pull down fast, hard. You know, you're not flicking your wrist or nothing like that. It comes out. And you can hear how snappy it is. And this guy, same thing. You know, you do a light pull, it comes out. You do a, a hard pull, just sounds a little more snappy compared to this guy. You know, like just it's probably the steel. But yeah, uh, let me show you some other knives, guys. Um, I do have another carbon fiber knife coming in. I guess uh, when I have enough, I'll do like a carbon fiber knife video. But um, here's a SOG SOG uh, Ultra XR. Here's a um, Kershaw <clears throat> Leak. And here's a Spyderco Watu. So yeah, I think these are my four current um, carbon fiber knives. I might have another one. I don't, I don't. Let me take a quick peek just in case I do. Uh, no, 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 no. Uh, looks like I do not have another carbon fiber knife. I thought I did. But yeah, um, so these guys, you know, just to show you guys the pattern, I guess, if anybody's, like, interested in the patterns. So yeah, these guys are pretty awesome. Um, you know, the, the Watu has a little bit of texture to it. This guy's um, smooth, but you could feel a little bit to it. Not a lot. And then um, this guy's super smooth. And then this guy's smooth too. Very smooth. I have myself a, um, I bought, I purchased a um, damned design. I bought the Oni, I think, O-U-N-I, Ocean Nora Ida. But yeah, I bought that guy and um, it's actually due in the mail tomorrow, so I'll eventually do another video, and I guess I'll probably put these up there with it, just so you guys can see. But, um, yeah, this guy. I could have got the black, but I wanted the gold because I think it looks awesome. The tin. I have a I have a Glock that has a tin barrel or that colored barrel, so it's pretty dope. Here's the Damascus version. Got this guy through... Uh, this guy is through um, Expert Voice. Gave me a discount on the Kershaw. I forgot how much I got it for, but it was a good deal. And this is I got through uh, Spyderco's actual site. Um, they give 50% off the first responders. So uh, it's pretty dope there too. So yeah, here's the carbon fiber. Uh, let me change the lighting for you guys, just in case any of you guys are curious what kind of lighting it looks like underneath, under. Here. That's one, two, three. This is what we were on earlier. That's one, two, three. But yeah, um, so far I love it. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm a lot happier with this guy, detent-wise and all that. This does feel a little harder, so that's good. And, um, yeah, happy this guy's um, coming out strong. I guess I could do another weight, a measuring, I, guess, I mean, a measuring, sorry. Another weighing. If you guys are coming at this video the first time and not seeing my prior video, I'm going to keep that one. I'm not going to bring it down just because, um, you know, give, uh, give credit to the guy who... Um, who told me about his issue with his elementum and what got me to get another one. But yeah, let's start with uh, weighing. So this guy weighs 
Should be the same as all the elementums. This guy is 2.8. The other one, that's going back, 2.8. The non carbon fiber one, I'm guessing it's going to be 2.82. 2.8. So, yeah, um, that's the weight, guys. And then um, I guess I can do a little quick measuring for you guys if you want. So, um, the blade is about a little bit close to three inches. Overall length is seven inches, or 6.99 or something like that. And then um, close length, it's gonna be four inches. And here's some paper, if you guys wanna see it cut. No question, uh, ele you know, both elementums they have are sharp. Same for the Wii knife. If you guys want to take, well, I guess I could compare the Wii knife. You guys want to take a peek? Here's the uh, the banter. I uh, made this part myself. A little bead. And uh, yeah, here goes Ben Banter, guys. Ben Banter. Follow him on Instagram or um, you know, formerly from uh, Blade HQ. Very uh, good guy. And uh, yeah, got me to get this guy. You know. So yeah, uh, if you guys like what you see here, um, videos uh, will still be coming. Um, give me a like on Instagram or follow on Instagram or give me a like and subscribe on YouTube if you like it. But um, Instagram is going to be M-R-I-I -I Toys. Again, M-R-I-I -I Toys. It'll be at the end, at the subscribe part at the end of the video. Also, I have an Etsy link over there if you guys are interested in purchasing any kind of paracord, bracelets, lanyards or anything like that. And yeah, um, hope you guys like this. Uh, I hope this answers some questions out there about the detent issues that people want to be having and thinking that it it's just the way it is. But um, it's not, guys. Watching videos out there and watching more of these videos out there, other guys have stronger detents on their elementum. So if you got a weak detent and you're still within that returning time or whatever, I highly suggest that you um, give them a message, see if your window is not closed yet to return that sucker and uh, get a better one, you know. And again, thanks a guy to the uh, thanks a lot to the gentleman who um, left me a message letting me know that um, you know he had one bad one out of six. Uh, I'll put his screen name down there at the bottom of the uh, description. Also, if you guys want to give him a subscription or subscribe, uh, thanks again. Sorry, I forgot your name, man. And uh, yeah. Stay tuned, guys. More stuff coming. Stay sharp.